So, thanks for joining us if you haven't joined us yet. Uh, today we're going to be doing something rather unusual or different. We're going to be unboxing the Light L16. I got the box here. I got it for a Christmas present, but I've been holding off until I came back so I could share it with you and we could unbox it together. The L16 is an interesting new kind of camera. It's a still camera right now, but the people at Light tell me that it's going to be upgraded to video shortly. I don't know when shortly is. It's very much still in beta, but we like to get things early and mess around with them. So we're gonna mess around with this. Now, what makes the Light particularly interesting, and we'll open the box in a minute, is that it represents an entirely new kind of photography. Photography really hasn't changed much for the last 150 years or so. Basically, it was based on the idea of light coming into a closed box and being caught originally on a piece of treated metal and then glass and then film and captured, captured by chemical process originally and of late captured digitally on a card or a chip. But basically, it's all the same. And all cameras, still cameras or video cameras are basically the same. DSLRs, which are very popular among video users, I don't particularly like them, but they're based on the same principle, is that light, here's the Leica for example, light comes into the lens and the lens can be wide angle, normal or telephoto, and then you get a lot of options, and then it gets captured on a card here or a chip or a piece of, you know, in this case it's a chip because this is a digital camera, and that records the image. And all cameras are basically made in the same way. When you get in the digital world, the quality of the resolution is based upon the number of megapixels. Now this is my favorite until now, and maybe it'll still remain. This is the Hasselblad H4D. This sucker costs $64,000. Sorry to say, you can buy a car for what this thing costs. And, but it gets 40 megapixels, which was pretty good when I bought it. It also weighs a ton, but it's solid and it's the most professional camera you can get. It's based on the same sim. This happens to be an 80 millimeter lens on here, which is normal for what we used to call six by six, but it's the resolution of the thing. And again, light comes through here. The lens gets adjusted manually because it's glass. The image falls back on the plane and you capture the image. In this case with the Hasselblad, this is the 120 millimeter telephoto. I think this sucker is about $6,000. And this is the wide angle lens that goes with it. I think this is 35 millimeter. Uh, yeah, 35. And also this thing is about $5,000. So there's a lot of money invested here to get a 40 megapixel resolution. I'm not gonna throw these off the desk because they cost too much money, but uh, obviously this is what the light is doing. The light, ready for this? This costs $1,695. It gets 52 megapixels of resolution, and it does it in, also, it gets all the depth of field at the same time. What makes this work is that the light, it's called the L16, it actually has 16 little lenses in it. I wrote it down here so we get it right. It has five 28 millimeter lenses, five 70 millimeter lenses, and six 150 millimeter lenses. In other words, all of these times 16. That gives it a lot of options, and they're all set at different focal lengths. So when you take a picture with a light, which we're gonna do at some point, everything is in focus all the time. And then once you can crunch, it's all digital of course, and once you get it and you crunch it with the software that comes with it, it then allows you to say, I want everything in focus, I only want the front in focus, I want the back in focus, because it's all there and it's optional. As I said, it's a completely new and totally revolutionary concept of what photography should be. It's the first time really in 150 years, really since the invention of photography, somebody has come up with a different idea. Now this was all invented by Rajiv Laroya, who I'd never heard of before, but the guy apparently invented, oh, he did, I read about it in Forbes, he invented the LTE technology that makes cell phones work, which is not a bad thing to have invented. He apparently was given cell phones, he used to work at Bell Labs, and he was given cell phones and told, figure out how to make these things work digitally, and that was his job. So every cell phone that you have, every smartphone that you have, is based on his invention. He set up a company based on this LTE technology and sold it for about $800 million and then decided he wanted to invent a new kind of camera. So he had the money and the time to do it. So we're gonna unbox this thing for the first time. Here we go, right? Nice box here, that's a nice box here for $800 million. You can get some nice packaging. Now, as I said, this is beta and there aren't many of these things around. Oops, okay, so, oh. Here's the camera. As you can see, it's like a giant cell phone. And if you look at the front of it, it's got, I don't count them, one, two, three, there's the 16 different lenses all arrayed around. They all collect, they all connect visually. The back, they got this little plastic thing which protects the screen. There's the screen on the back. I don't know if they charge these suckers up or not before you get them. 
Okay, they don't. So we'll do a. I'm start hit the start button here, but there's no power in it. So we'll do part two uh, after I get the thing charged up, and we'll actually take some pictures with it. But I wanted to share it with you as we. Oh, there's a piece of plastic on here too. As we unbox it, it's lovely. It's elegant. I mean, what what um, Rajiv the idea was he loved photography, despite the fact that he made a billion dollars figuring out smartphones. And he said that taking pictures with the smartphone used to drive him crazy. So he wanted, he didn't like, he shot with DSLRs. And he said, I don't like to drag the DSLR around with me all the time. And the smartphone isn't good enough. I'd like a camera that does everything. And it's really cool to take, if you look at this thing closely, you can see all the lenses in it. And the lenses also, apparently from what I read, they have the same, what makes the Hasselblad lenses so valuable is the glass. And the glass is laid out like this. And what he's done here is besides digitally, when the light comes in, it bounces off a bunch of 90 degree angles. So it continues to increase and increase and increase. It does the same thing the glass does, but it does it in an incredibly small space. So it, and it records all of them all at the same time. So there's the camera. Let's see what else comes in the box since we're unboxing. What the hell is this thing? Oh, okay. Oh, you get a very nice case with it, finally. So you can carry it around, right? Fits in the case. Um, Here's your uh, charger to plug it in. Here's the wire that goes with the charger, so you're going to plug it in. And here is that was this thing, a ah, strap. And that apparently is all you get. What you don't get is an instruction manual. Uh, luckily, I found one online, but um, uh, I think the thing is supposed to be so intuitive that you know what you're doing. Anyway, uh, I wanted to show it to you and share it with you. It is very, very different. Um, as I said before, the company wrote to me because this is still in beta test, really. And they said that, you know, there's going to be some firmware updates. And one of the most interesting ones is this camera. Now it only does stills, but it is going to go to video. So I think we'll be shooting all of our video with this in the not too distant future. Right now, we're going to charge the thing up. And uh, as soon as we get it charged up, we'll come back and show you exactly what it does as soon as I figure it out. But considering this gets 40 megapixels and costs me uh, $64,000. And this gets 52 megapixels and costs $1,600. I would say that probably, um, even if it's a little rough because it's the beta test, uh, this is ultimately going to displace this. If you want to buy this, call me. Okay, so there we go. If you have any questions, uh, needless to say, email. And don't forget to sign up for the VJ.com. Uh, like it, share it, and uh, don't forget to sign up for your free 90-day trial. See you later. I hope you enjoyed that, and if you want to learn more and see more, come and see us at thevj.com.